Simone, la Fritz Walter, Andres și din Pietri și Oana Ocupină, dar de rest o fiu, a bucurit cu ce minți vă dar nu? Ce nu ales? Eu nu are brauză aici? Eu nu are brauză aici?
assuming maybe one of your courses is organizational behaviors, uh, so you click on it, you click on the icon here. And then you open that course. Okay. What you'd be expected to find for that course is the course outline, um, video links, if there are any that is. Uh, so this can be recorded lectures or any other link that is related to that particular course. Okay. You'd be expected to find study materials assignments, self-assessments, and other reference materials and videos of course. Okay? So let's click the course outline. So you can see that there's a, there's a part here, Organization Behavior Course Outline. If you click on it, it will automatically download. Okay? Do we know the default um, folder where downloads are put on the computer? Yes. What's the name? Downloads. Eh? Similar on the phone is the same, right? In case you don't know where downloads are, um, you can go on the bar here. Okay? It shows you what you have downloaded. Okay? You click on this arrow here, okay, and then on the menu, either you can just click open or show in folder, okay. It will take you directly to the folder and where exactly it is, it will be highlighted, okay. Click on it, it will open, of course up. You know what a course outline is, eh? What's the use of a course outline? I'm busy to get on my second one. I use a syllabus, yes? Yeah, so a course outline is like a roadmap, okay? Which gives you an indication where you are supposed to be, okay? what you are supposed to cover, and what you are supposed to achieve. So, the course outline you have the course outcomes, the topics that you cover for the rest of the semester, including the subtopics. In case lecture of position is included, they are not on the course outline, then you need to raise the double without fear, okay? But I will watch one video and move away there. <laughs> okay? Yeah, but otherwise, um, uh, all the lectures are supposed to follow this course outline. So, you also have prescribed textbooks and recommended readings. Uh, these ones you can find them in the library or on our, digital, I mean, in our online library. Okay? Yeah. also some of these books, like the core book, you should be able to find it in the book. That's that on the course outline. Uh, video links. Although this one um, mainly it applies to students who are online more than. As I'm talking to you now, it's, 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 it's recording, eh? so online uh, is able to see what we are doing. Okay. In case you missed the class, you can always also find it there. Okay. I'm not saying you should miss classes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, otherwise, uh, you will be in trouble. You're supposed to attend 90% of the classes. Otherwise, you are not going to be on top. Even if you go to 99, you might be supposed to make that course. Okay? Because you have not met the contact hours that you are supposed to achieve.
but for your reference, you can always uh, you know at times mala mala a plus a gram of sun eaten you tend to go to eh? from the sooner the sister you can always go up to these videos. And then you have um, study materials. So on study materials either you find books or lecture slides. Okay? So some lectures we prepare my, my PowerPoint presentations which you can ignore. Okay? So all these are downloadable. It doesn't mean that you have to be full time on this online platform. Okay. If I were a student, I would just log in, download whatever is there, and we meet at the end during uploading our assignments. Or in case I want to leave at a certain degree. Okay. Do well. Am I too fast or too slow? <laughs> it's okay, yes? And then you have assignments. Normally, it is expected of you to have two assignments. Uh, like you, from your academic calendar, the first assignment will be somewhere in August. Okay? In and after, we will set the exam set. Mm. So you go on assignments. Even though, but that should be one of my jobs. You might talk on some assignments and then I will leave by the lectures. Okay? So it will give you the duties. Normally, when you are getting closer um, uh, to the deadline, the text color will change to orange. Okay? When you have surpassed the duties, the text color will change to red. Okay? Uh, Depending on the mood of the administrators, at times when the deadline is over, you can no longer submit an assignment. You only submit if you have paid the penalty of selling out. Okay? Assignment. Okay? So make sure that uh, you take note of the, the deadlines and also remind your lectures that you must have been out of assignment general so that you don't panic. You have a lot of time to prepare for your exams. Yes? Not one week to do an exam and then a lecture gives you an assignment. It gives you a lot of pressure. Okay? So, back on the assignments, there will be like this. Okay? For example, assignment one, you click on it. Now, um, here it's a bit different just because um, uh, this particular student already submitted from a national file and the file in any other area of the for some time. So you click on it and then uh, you can start working on the assignment. Once you are done, Uma Mera Ulu, this button you might want to add to submit. Okay? Click on it. You can submit as many copies as you can. For example, whatever question one, but then you feel like we need to add more things or certain things are useless. You can always add as many copies as you can. So when the deadline is over, we will take the recent copy that we submitted. Okay? So like for this student, another one must submit um, this corporate and it was a final book. Okay. But if you want to submit your assignment, first of all, you have to have the folder in your computer with the title of assignment. Okay. Perhaps you can give it the names and the according to um, the process that that assignment is for. Uh, but you just have to know where uh, the code is kept. Be it on your desktop or um, on my documents. I hope we are all 
speak in the same language here. Oh, no, what is it? Yes? Yes. Okay. So when you are here, there are, there are two ways on how you can do it. It's similar to the way you upload an attachment on the email set. Just for the sake of this, assuming this is the folder, you um, are side of the camera. I can minimize the folder and then drag I like and then drag it to this area where the folder side is. Once you have done that, the folder will be will show here. Okay? When I click save, then the lecture will know that so and so has submitted an assignment. Okay? Click save changes, it will tell you that uh, your assignment has been submitted. I know um, when it might be hard to do my work first time, but don't worry, I'll share a video uh, which will demonstrate step by step of one of So you can always see it. That's that on my side. There are different materials, it can be anything. Um, different videos, the same thing. Okay. You click on any of the videos. Hello everyone. The topic I'm starting today is organizational decision making. Decision making is very much related with the organization behavior and human resource management. Alright. So you can use your phone, um, there's an app which you can download. Um, just say for more. M double O D L E. Okay. 